A sluggish Sunday performance results in a second straight loss for the Bobcats as they fall to first place Ryder 74-59 alongside Dylan Fear and I'm Ryan Chichester. Dylan Ryder forces 20 Bobcats turnovers. They have their way on the offensive end for most of the game. Are you surprised by such a convincing win? No, not surprised. Ryder's the best team in the MAC. They're 10-2 in league play now. They won at Penn State earlier in the year. They've played Providence to the wire in Rhode Island. And they played Xavier earlier on in the year. So they've played good teams, they've beaten a good team, and they've shown throughout this conference play that they're the best team in the league. So not surprised at all. They beat Quinnipiac by 18 in New Jersey, the first matchup. Not surprised at all. 74-59. The only thing I'd be surprised at is 59 points of Quinnipiac. Riders not predicated on their defense. They allow 78 points per game, which is very bad in college basketball. But they score a lot. So I wasn't surprised at their 74 points, but I was definitely surprised at Quinnipiac putting up less than 60. And that Rider defense seemed to be a step ahead of the Bobcats, especially during that full court press. How much do you think fatigue was a factor after a double overtime game for the Bobcats Friday night? You know, very big factor, especially on both sides. Ryder hasn't played in six days. They didn't play on Friday night like every other team in the MAC with an 11-team conference. One team's going to get that bye on that Friday night, and it was Ryder this week. So Ryder doesn't play. They don't play for a week, and Quinnipiac has to a quick turnover after the Iona game. 50 minutes on the road in conference play is tough for anyone, especially an inexperienced team like Quinnipiac. So definitely a big factor today. And a big part of the Bobcats' turnaround the last four games before today was Shays Daniels, but today commits seven turnovers. Dri dribbled into a lot of double teams. What can he do to be better? He can't turn the ball over. I mean, just can. Once he draws that second and possibly third defender, he has got to kick out to open shooters. He's got Jacob Bergoni, the best three-point shooter in the conference. He's got Isaiah Washington. He's got Rich Kelly. He's got Cam Young, capable shooters from the outside. Aaron Robinson today, even Andrew Robinson when he's healthy. So he's got capable shooters. He just has to kick out to these open guys and, and not be selfish. If he's selfish, they will lose games. If he is unselfish and is looking past first when he draws that double team, they'll win games. And the road does not get any easier for the Bobcats. They have Niagara on Thursday, the Mac's top scoring offense. So that'll do it here for us. Ryder wins 74-59 at the bank.